Danchi Kiwa, this is Grandmother Wind, Andrea Menard, with another message from the Patchwork Grandmothers. Their message, my wise helpers from the other side, their message this week is there is no ceiling. There is no ceiling. Now, being a woman and being an Indigenous woman, that can seem like a lot to swallow there, really. There's no ceiling, there's no glass ceiling. But they're saying from their, from the grandmother's perspective, from the patchwork grandmother's perspective, they're saying humans are limitless. And if they actually knew the power they had, if we knew the power we had, we would know that anything is possible. That we are capable of breaking through any perceived ceiling because as a woman and as an indigenous person there is a ceiling in, in some of our systems still but what the patchwork grandmothers are saying is that they those may exist but nothing can stop the human being who decides that they are limitless nothing can stop a human being once they know and decide who they really are once they remember their connection to the Creator, once they remember their own creative powers, nothing can stop them. And that is the type of perspective that the grandmothers are always encouraged us to adopt. Because we tend to get locked in the systems here on earth. We get locked into the I can't or the, the struggle and the, the battles we have to overcome. And those are worthy battles. But the grandmothers are saying, the battle that is the deepest one for you is the one where you believe there is a ceiling. If you believe there is a ceiling that you can't get through, and many, many of us do believe that, whether we fight for justice or fight or not, we believe that ceiling is in place. And, and when I scratched the surface of this a little, I realized I, be I, tr I believed in that ceiling very, very strongly. And in a way, it was like clinging to my victim stance of saying, I can't do that because of this ceiling. I can't because of that excuse. But the truth is, is that when you try to picture a world, a life of a, a human being without this perceived ceiling or real ceiling, but without it, we are unstoppable. I am unstoppable <laughs> without this ceiling in place. So maybe we should give that a try. Maybe we should say, okay, grandmothers, I'm going to see it from your perspective and say, okay, there is no ceiling. Now what? <laughs> because that's how I felt. I felt a, a, a wave of fear show up is if I have no ceiling, then what's stopping me from living my most beautiful potential? <laughs> and the answer is absolutely nothing. Nothing is stopping me from my, from reaching my full glory and remembering who I am here on this earth walk while I'm alive. It's pretty heady stuff and a worthwhile question to ask. What if there was no ceiling? So I invite you to play on that one for a while. See it from the grandmother's perspective and see what kind of ideas you could have, what kind of actions you could take, what kind of olive branch you can extend without that ceiling if it didn't exist. Because when we walk into that power, it doesn't. Oh, here's to you being in your full power, here's to me being in my full power, and here's to celebrating that wonderful thought. So my dear friends, I love you and I'll see you in the glory. <laughs> Till next time. Bye-bye.